So we can open the vault door. I don't know what quite to expect, though. I do know it's another fear edition. So it's going to be weird no matter how we look at this. Let's see what the freak this is all about. This is the most peculiar thing. What is that deathly freaking growl? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What the freak? Why is there an absolute giant version of that guy out there? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. So we are back, guys. Now, you may be wondering, why are we back? I mean, I said before that I wouldn't be covering this again. There has recently been some discoveries within this game, guys, and it appears that the beta has more to offer than meets the eye. We are going to be accessing some of the crazy areas within this beta, but firstly, I've got to show you this, guys. I'm a little bit high up right here, and you may be wondering, how the freak am I up here? And secondly, you might be wondering, Ryan, why do you talk with your eyes closed when it's our question? For the second one, I actually have no idea. However, though, guys, for the first part of that question, I can answer it. There has recently been a new Hello Alpha trainer cheat engine, so check this out, guys. We now have the ability to levitate and ascend into greatness and everything above. But that's really no fun, is it? Whilst we could use that ability, I'm sure, for incredible things, all we're going to be using it for is to break through random walls that we couldn't previously access and check out some of the secret levels. There is apparently another secret level. I think it's called Fear Factory, and I am interested to see what this one has to offer. Supposedly, as well, you can beat that, so they give you the supermarket one, which you can't beat, and yet hide the Fear Factory, and you can beat it. I always find these videos super fun, though, because the whole essence of them is to break the game even further than what it is currently. I mean, this beta was... I mean, maybe a bit too deep. I would say more. Yeah, more like that. Let us get going with things anyway, guys. The first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start a brand new game and I want to check out some of the weird stuff that's possibly in the intro sequence. Okay then, guys, so we are now in the original apartment that we do start out and we have all this outside stuff. I don't know if there's going to be anything interesting there, but I guess it's worth a look. If we press two, though, we should be able to just drift around. Yeah, okay. The confinements of this place are no more. We can just simply bust straight outside and ooh. Damn, no, uh, no wonder he's moving out. I mean, living on the edge, literally. I just feel like I can relate to this music so much more now that I'm floating. I can just get some, like, epic cinematic shots right here. Beautiful. So let's check out this room up here first. I think this is going to be where the cutscene is initially. How can we actually get in here? Let's see. Oh, okay, now that is interesting. We can walk around. The magnet gun? Ah, we can't pick up any of the objects. Dang. Oh, we can't open the door either. Let me see if I can drift through it, though. Boink. Yes, we can. And on the other side is, um, well, a void. Can we stand on this? Let me just see... We actually can. So we can actually walk on some of these buildings. That's mildly interesting, like parkour, you know? Although I'm not sure what this is going to really warrant us being able to do. And oh, 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 oh. Yeah, definitely want to use that. I guess only some of the objects are actually textured right here. Most of the other stuff is just kind of blank slates. Kind of placeholders, that sort of thing. This one has like a ladder on it. We saw this one outside previously. And Bruh. I don't really see anything too special here. This one's got like satellites on top and two huge pipes going along it. So in we... What the freak? What? Uh, my dude, are you serious? What is he doing? Is he like pointing and laughing? Are you serious? So wait, this dude was watching us the whole time. I think they were meant to place him on top right there, sitting on the edge watching. That would have been better, you know? What is he laughing at though? Like, what a douche, man. Dingus alert, that's all I'm saying. This makes me curious. Let me see if we could actually see him from the window here. Yeah, look, check it out. If we actually did look up there initially with the binoculars, we would have seen the neighbor. I definitely think he was meant to be sitting on the edge laughing at us. So... That really warrants the question as to why. He's legit like pointing and laughing at us. Like, man, is it that funny? Like, are you thinking that's funny as well, then, dude? Kind of interesting, though, why they'd leave that in, right? I mean, they gave us binoculars to look through at things. So I honestly think this was meant to be viewed by us initially. We were meant to see the neighbor laughing at us as we were evicted. I did think it was kind of interesting, though, in this place, why they would include the neighbor. Like, if you look, we actually glance out of the window. Perhaps we could have seen him, maybe if we knew what to look for. The fact that he was hidden, though, made that one very difficult. So let's head on now over to the main portion of the bayer and see if there's any more crazy stuff, which honestly, I don't doubt. Huh. That's actually interesting. You know, beforehand, I never realized that when the house was boarded up like this, it was smaller. It's kind of like a house proportion, you know? Like, there's, I guess, everything that you'd need to be in here, and that's really it. I wonder if we can still use this stuff. Yep, I mean, it's still functional within the house. Uh, we can't really get anywhere with it, though, so, uh... <clears throat> What's the point? You know what? This does have the green lock on it as well. Should I try it? I mean, I may break the game. Um, heck yeah. So let's spawn down in here, and wait... The minigame doesn't work? Oh, that is interesting. It's, it's not really, is it? <laughs> not really that much more to the house then, guys, but firstly, check this freaking junk out right here. I did know that this thing existed in the last alpha, but it's still in the beta, and honestly, tiny build, 
Thank you. You are coming with me. I don't freaking care. And now we're going to get our stuff in this house. Okay, so I've just brought everything in the house, guys. Now we're going to see if we can do anything crazy during this sequence because this might be a little bit interesting. We see the neighbor over there. I think there's going to be a weird dud frame where he's going to be standing doing something stupid. Let me see if I can go and find him. I can see a light source over there. Um, he's not really being that stupid, although he is kind of just standing there. So um, I guess he is being stupid. I'm actually in the house right now, guys, and there's nothing that he can do about it. <laughs> I think I broke the gate. Oh, wait, no, it threw me back out. So I think it's this part here where if you move anywhere, he catches you. So let me try and go in the... Huh? So I think we have to move the chair right now. It's the only thing we can do. Can I go under the ground? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm good. I'm good. This is so unusual, man. Like, I'm completely breaking the game. Look, I can go right up in his grill, literally. Ew. Let me just see if I can actually do the mini games during the sequence here. So if I press zero, can I? Or have I broke it? Yes, we can. Oh, What? So even though things aren't complete, we can just completely jump the system. <laughs> Let's just finish this whole sequence off so we can proceed then to the house. Why was the two neighbors? This game is so freaking derpy. I think maybe I contributed to that to be fair. Like I was really messing around with the bugs and stuff. So um, twin brother confirmed. And here we go. So we are now in the main house and I guess the main build of the beta. I think really what I want to focus on for this video though is the newest fear game because that one is very peculiar and I think there's a lot to take in for it. Plus the fact that you can beat it means that, you know, we've got to concentrate. We've got to actually figure it out. There is working mechanics to that one and uh, I think we'll get there. As well, I don't currently know if there's anything interesting outside of the map in terms of, I don't know, new additions or weird things so i don't think i'm gonna look for this video but if there is we can always return for another part it does seem like the kind of breakage of the game is the most exciting stuff of it currently so let's see what this mini game is all about anyway so if i remember correctly it's in the room where you know where the weird apple shooters are we can find the gun i think it's in here and just behind all of this junk we can see there's some kind of weird vault door you know it's really strange there is no way we can actually access this thing we can try and try but i think the best we can do is get stuck the closest you can actually get is going through the weird you know sun moon door where it has the date and stuff. We can open this door here, and as you can see, the vault door is right there. We can peek through it, but if we actually go out of it, we're stuck. This is why the cheat engine is really awesome for this. We can open the vault door, go into ghost mode, and drift into water and not drown for some reason. I don't know what quite to expect, though I do know it's another fear edition, so it's going to be weird no matter how we look at this. Let's see what the freak this is all about. A basketball, guys? Serious? Wait, this is the most peculiar thing. What is that deathly freaking growl? We picked the basketball up. This guy over here is doing some weird push-pull animation. Not sure if he should be doing it to an object. This is still like early days, you can see. And there's just a guy stood really far back there minding his own. Really not interested at all. This is very unusual. We can also leave. Not that we want to. We want to see what this has to offer. But these guys are blocking our path. There's no way we can get around them. Throw that over there and... Some of them leave and some of... What the heck? And they return the basketball? Go freaking fetch, all right? I'm gonna run with you this time. Wait, can I? I can! I made some ground. When you think about it, we're actually moving. I've got the basketball again. They did return it, so it's something involving this. Go freaking long, guys. Who's gonna move first, huh? You're gonna... Whoa. I made some ground that time. And do we just keep going? Oh my gosh. And we just keep running. Then they prevent us from moving. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. What this is trying to explain to us? No idea. Maybe in the factory, this is where they made the mannequins. Oh, they got weird when I said that. That was kind of strange. Keep running. Keep running. Now I'm being like elevated upwards. What is happening? I think the mini game may have completely broken right here. Like, I can't move or anything. Smoke is plummeting through, and we've still got this far to go. I don't know what this is trying to explain to us, guys, although something weird, it's just clear it happened. Wait, what the heck is going on? It's like I get stuck here every time. There's like so many group right there. I'm not sure why. Can I ghost now? <gasps> yes, I can. I can actually avoid them completely. That is so weird, though. Where did the basketball go? I was doing so well. Do I still got it? If I throw it and run, they should follow it. Then they're blocking me again. We are making ground, as I said before, though. What is trying to account to? Uh, no idea whatsoever, though. Maybe we was pushed around at one point, like we were the center, and I don't know, maybe no one liked us or something? Now the factory is getting more kind of windy. We've got this that leads to absolutely nowhere. I wonder what the purpose of this thing is, though, because I can see the exit right there. We're kind of making our way through fairly consistently, I would say. It's not much of a difficult thing. We just kind of throw the ball and move a little bit down, so... What's really going on here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What the freak? What? Why is there an absolute giant version of that guy out there? We're going to have to make a move this way somewhat. I got to see what the heck is going on. Look at that. 
an absolute giant version of him out there. I think I gotta ghost this, guys. I wanna see what's going on. I'm gonna take the basketball with me. All right, we're just outside of the circle of those guys. <laughs> well, we was at least. What is the purpose behind this? This giant man right here, like, what? He's actually got some kind of animation as well. Like, what he's doing, no idea. Kind of just, like, thinking or something. The way he twitches, though, is just, oh man, it is not natural. I think this has to be some kind of imagination of, like, the neighbor. Like, maybe this is, like, a dark conscience of him always watching, you know, every situation where he's, like, fearful. Maybe that's the neighbor's kind of picture in his head of what fear is to him. I mean, I don't know. Can I stand on this dude? I mean, I probably shouldn't be, but I guess I can. <laughs> hey, what's good, man? Hey, stand on your freaking head. Uh, uh. Either way, though, this guy is humongous. Like, 30 feet, maybe taller? I don't freaking know. If this was, like, maybe a later minigame in the series and he grows throughout, that might be some kind of hinting thing. Maybe the neighbor's fear was growing or whatever this representation is for the neighbor was growing in his conscience. I I don't know though, I'm probably just shooting things out of my behind and nothing makes sense. All we can do though is assume, I mean, we can see that this game is still early ages for the mini games, should I say. So I think there's something here. I remember when we first experienced like the fear games, like the fear school and stuff like that, and now we're seeing it in the other light. Granted, it still is a bit kind of iffy, like doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but it's more built up, more so. Ow. I see. So I just restarted the game and I'm making my way now over to the door. I haven't had any problems with the glitch. I'm convinced it's probably because I was ghosting. I mean, I shouldn't be doing that anyway. Even further back, I shouldn't even be playing this mini game, I guess. So uh, no wonder things are breaking and such. There's a wall right there. Okay, that's interesting. So how are we supposed to advance? Is there like, huh? I'm literally locked in right here. I can't advance past this point. It's like the mannequins kind of block you off. What gives, guys, huh? God, freaking take that. Can I get past now? I wonder why this is happening. Like, no matter how high I throw this thing, it's like this little capsule right here has all of a sudden enclosed me in on it. I can't get out. I can ghost, however, so, uh, yes. There we go. We've managed to break out of the capsule, and here's where the exit lies. Let's open the door. And I guess if we go through... It takes us back out, so there is something working here. Again, though, it seems to be one of those things where we don't really gain anything from it, and once it's done, it's done. I think the last thing I want to check out then for this video, guys, is back in the supermarket game. Now that we can ghost, we can go anywhere. No restrictions for this one right here, so I think I may try and beat this with the shopping cart and see if the ending is different. Though I do remember seeing, yep, I can see him right there. I knew there was something here. I thought at first my eyes were playing tricks, but it is the exact same animation and model, just watching us and a bit smaller. Always watching, huh? He was also in of course, the little classroom mini game. He's always there. It's got to be some kind of conscience. So I've got the shopping cart there. I'm going to find some stuff to put inside of it. On a side note, though, I did find the robotic shark again. Introduced in Alpha 1, still here in Beta 1. I think I might try and see exactly what the mannequins are getting and match that. I don't know if there's like a specific item order we got to get and maybe it triggers trigger something. Uh, literally, I'm just going off of anything. There's four things. I think that's one of everything maybe in this place. There may only be four unique items. Wait, hold up. I've never seen that. Is that guy literally just checked out and leaving? Oh, that one's weird. I saw a guy just leave and I think he's not came back. Look, here's another one. Hold up. Are they checking out? Nope, they're coming for me. I'm just looking on the outside of this one as well, guys. There's a huge gramophone right here. We know there's something weird with like the golden apple and the gramophone. So I don't know what this is trying to say. There's no way we could legit get up here. I mean, going inside of it, I don't think would do anything. We, I mean, we can stand on it. But other than that, we just kind of get stuck. These guys, look, they're still just checking out. They're literally just leaving. I don't get it. It's really making me think, like, do we have to make them all check out? Is that how we win this? Because they do legit check out and they just disappear. Huh. There goes another one. Going on his way. Not interested in us. Just literally checking out. Literally just putting things in a shopping cart makes it crash. Okay then guys, so for this video, I don't really think there's a whole lot more I want to do. I've checked out some weird stuff with the Shadow Man. I'm still going to brand him as that, or at least I think I called him that last time. The Weird Man, you know what I'm talking about though. He's strange. He's appearing again in another Fear game. So the Fear is definitely situated around whatever that guy is doing. If there is some weird stuff outside of the map or maybe some new different things, I'll probably be returning. But other than that, I think I checked out a good significant chunk of the weird stuff that was actually hidden from our view. And I think we had a pretty good time in the process. If you guys did also enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.